Hi, welcome back to Real 143. This is episode number nine. I'm JJ, and today I'm going to show you how to reverse sear this tomahawk steak. Look at the size of that thing. Can't wait to try this. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to season it up. All right, so to start with, we have this three and a quarter pound tomahawk steak. This thing is awesome. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's about three and a half inches thick. Look at all the marbling on there, all the fat and meat. This is, this is gonna be awesome. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna keep things simple because this is such a good cut of meat, we're gonna keep it real simple with the ingredients. I got, on this side of the plate, I already have four cloves of garlic that I cut into 12 separate pieces. So what we're gonna do, is gonna make a couple of slits in the meat, about six per side. I'm just gonna sl slide some of this garlic right into the meat like this. Make sure you get them in there far enough to where they don't fall out when you flip the meat. All right, so we got six on that side. We're gonna flip this over, do this other side. All right, last one goes in. Set that knife down. Now just a couple more ingredients. All right, first let's start with a little sea salt. I'm a big fan of using sea salt on a lot of my meats. So just and use fresh cracked pepper. It's a lot better than using your store-bought pepper. I would recommend using fresh cracked, just like that. And a little bit of garlic powder. Yes, we're going for a real garlicky taste. Whoops. <laughs> that came out a little heavy, but that's all right. You can knock some of that off. That looks good right there. Now, as we flip it over, we're just gonna Get some of this on the sides and flip that over and do the same thing on this side. Take our sea salt, take our black pepper, more garlic powder. Go ahead and hit this other side, this other edge right here. Make sure you get this all the way around. Now, last thing we're going to use, I'm going to just top this off with a little bit of grapeseed oil just to just enough to coat the whole steak. You can use olive oil here if you like. I'm just, just into using grapeseed oil right now. So I'm just, you know, kind of rub that in and pat it in. And there it is, simple as that. We're just gonna let this hang out for about maybe an hour before we put it on the grill. There's really no need to season this up 12 hours or even 24 hours before like we do with the tri-tip. We're just gonna do it for about an hour, so we're just gonna let this hang out while we go start the grill. All right, I'll see you outside. All right, we just lit the grill. Today we're using the Weber grill with Kingsford original charcoal briquettes. We only have the chimney halfway full of charcoal. That's because uh, Kingsford burns hotter and longer than most charcoals. And we're gonna reverse sear this so we don't need the grill too hot because we're gonna cook the steak for about around an hour. So we don't need it too hot. We don't wanna cook it too quick. We wanna smoke it for a while. So as soon as the charcoal's ready, we'll get the steak on the grill. All right, while we're waiting on the charcoal, we're gonna mix up a nice seasoned butter that we're gonna baste the steak for the second half of the grilling process. So I just have this little aluminum tray. Inside I have one stick of butter to this. We're gonna add two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna add, I got three cloves of garlic that I just uh, chopped up in a couple of pieces. We got, we're gonna ground about one teaspoon of ginger and put in here. All right, and we're gonna add a pinch of oregano and a pinch of rosemary. Sprinkle that right in there. Once the charcoal's ready, we'll get this stuff on the grill. Got the charcoal ready. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces, a couple of nice chunks of mesquite wood right on top to help give this a nice smoke flavor. So we're gonna reverse sear this. That means we have our charcoal off on one side. We're gonna put this tomahawk opposite of the charcoal. Set it right over there. Take our butter, set this right over here by the charcoal. Just gonna let that melt down, cook up. And now make sure both your top and bottom vents are open. Very important when you're smoking. 
keep the, the vent on top of the grill and your lid, keep that away from your pile of charcoal. You want it over the meat. Otherwise, all your heat and your smoke is gonna escape before it gets to the meat. You really wanna keep an eye on that temperature. We're shooting for a internal doneness of 130 degrees. So because we're, we're reverse searing this, excuse me, <laughs> we're gonna check the temperature when it's uh, about 120 degrees. We're gonna move it and finish it off directly over the charcoal to sear it to a nice finish. So all right, every 10 minutes, we're gonna come out and flip this. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. That thing is looking awesome. Butter's nice and melted. Start to cook. Look at that. Lid goes back on another 10 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. We're sitting at about 83 degrees. And this time, See, I still don't have it directly over the charcoal, but we got a little closer. This time I got a silicone brush. We're going to start basting the steak with this butter. And because we made those slits with the garlic, this butter is going to get down in the meat. All right, lid goes back on. Flip that. We're going to... Looking and smelling awesome. Another 10 minutes. We'll check the temp. All right, so we're sitting right around 120 degrees. We'll go ahead and move this and sear it directly over the charcoal. Or flip right over the charcoal like that. We'll leave that there. Two minutes, we're gonna flip it. Let that go another two minutes. Look at that, doesn't that look awesome? All right, it's time to take this thing off. Check this out. This thing is done. What we're gonna do, just like with a tri-tip, we're gonna take this off, and wrap this in foil for about 15 minutes, let it rest before we cut into it. All right, so we've let this rest for about 15 minutes in this foil. Check that out, doesn't that look unbelievable? And I'll tell you what, not only does it look unbelievable, but as soon as you open that foil, everything just hits you, the smell, it is amazing. I can't wait to tear into this. I'm gonna take this off, set it right here on the cutting board, and the total grill time on this was an hour and 10 minutes. And then we let it rest for 15 minutes in the foil. Now it's time to cut this. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a fork, we're gonna go ahead and pull these garlic cloves out that we put in here. All right, get that last piece of garlic out of there. Now what we're gonna do, you basically cut this any way you like. What I'm gonna do, get you a sharp knife. I just sharpened this. Very important to use a very sharp knife when you're cutting. I'm just gonna try and put the meat up like this and just try and follow this along the bone. Go ahead and just cut this top piece off as well. This is the best part, gnawing on that bone. Go ahead and set that in the dish. Check this out. This is seared and smoked to perfection. Look at that. That is perfect right there. Oh man, this is so tender. Just cutting into it. Man, looks unbelievable. Go ahead, take a piece right here from the middle. Take this piece and rub it through some of that butter. Mm. So good with that flavored butter we made. It's unbelievable, really. It was tender. If you like garlic, you're gonna love this recipe. Oh man, this is so good. I mean, as long as you don't overcook this, as long as you nail that temperature that you're looking for, 
you can't mess this up. I mean, you can pretty much season it any way you like. You just can't mess this up. It is unbelievable. Let's finish cutting this up. Put this here. Take this juice from the foil. Dump this right over top. Oh, man. All right. And there we have it. The tomahawk steak. Reverse seared grill 143 style. If you like the recipe, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to. I guess we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.